The North American South Asian Bar Association, or NASABA, was founded over a decade ago. Back then in 2000, in 1993, we started Saba LA and Saba Northern California. Then about eight, nine years went by and there was a new Saba every year. And in 2002, there were eight. So we called up all eight presidents and said, let's do a NASABA. All of them were receptive. So we started NASABA and uh, in one year we had about 15 new Sabas. You know, we've only come to our first 10 years right now and we've done a lot in that short amount of time, but we have a lot left to do. And I'm just excited about the new leadership, about the young people we have coming and the next generation. And those of us who are a little bit more senior in the uh, Indian, in the South Asian bar are uh, ready to mentor those people and to just see continued success in the next decade as well. I can tell you that I'm wonderfully excited. Uh, I've been thinking about this uh, the, the last year or so to speak, been working closely with the organization for the last several years, was around when we had the first convention uh, back in 2003. What does it feel like tonight? It's wonderful. It's one, I feel like I'm floating on air and I can't wait to begin the process starting with, with what I've been doing over the last month or so and what's going to happen over the next year. Nasaba is not just a resource for professional growth of its members, but an organization that focuses on the legal needs of the South Asian community. Well, we've had to hit the ground running because right after I became president at this time last year at convention, the Oak Creek tragedy happened. Shortly after that, started working with our affiliate. Uh, other community organizations really trying to get hate crimes to be recorded and as you know earlier this month the FBI came out and said they are going to keep track of our Sikh and Arab and Hindu uh, the, uh, crimes so we feel very good about that. This year the 10th annual Nasaba Gala came back to its birthplace San Francisco to celebrate and expand horizons. The planning for the convention started about a year ago and it was about 65 volunteers or 75 volunteers who worked on various committees. And they did an exceptional job working really, really hard for we as the steering committee or me as the vice president seems to be taking all the credit for. But they are the ones who really worked very, very hard and, and, and put a really successful convention. In attendance were some of the top South Asian attorneys, judges, and nine of the past 10 presidents of NASABA. Please join me in welcoming the Honorable Attorney General of the State of California. The opening remarks by Attorney General Kamala Harris set the stage for the panel discussion on cybersecurity, moderated by Judge Paul Graywall. The technology that uh, is, is and has changed the way the world works. I take great pride as a daughter of California in, in saying most of it has been developed right here in our backyard in Silicon Valley. And when I think about the technology that we are all using, that is changing the way we communicate, the way we live, the way we access services, the, w the way we talk, it's actually changed dialogue. Um, it's very exciting. We are lawyers of South Asian heritage here in the United States, but as highlighted by the uh, appearance of Indrapreet Sahani, the general counsel of Wipro, we have relationships that extend all around the world. We are lawyers in India, we are lawyers in Pakistan, in the UK, in Japan, and those relationships I think are going to be critical in the years to come as we confront these global issues. I got involved with Nasaba uh, when, when it was being set up in 2002 and uh, at that time I had been the president of Saba Southern California so a bunch of us got together and thought it would be a good idea to put together a national organization and um, it sort of fell in place. There were seven or eight chapters at that time that were active and uh, as the idea sort of came out, it just fell into place very easily. At the gala dinner, Pioneer Award was accepted by a humble and heavy-hearted honoree, the newly appointed D.C. Circuit Court Judge, Sri Srinivasan. The last thing I'll say is this. this. This award is called the Pioneer Award. It's hard for me in these couple of weeks to talk about a pioneer without thinking about another pioneer from my own family. My father passed away pretty recently, the last few days. And in fact, today I was down in Palo Alto doing, doing some services for him with my family. When we think about pioneers, I think we are fooling ourselves if we think we're pioneers because of what we have done since we've been in this country. The true pioneers are the ones who paved the way for us to be here. And my dad is one of those. He brought me and my sisters here when we were very young in search of opportunity for us. And I want to accept this award in his honor today. The keynote speech from the U.S. Attorney of the Southern District of New York, Preet Bharara, captivated the audience.
Ferrara walked onto the stage to the sound of Born to Run and shared his story with candor and grace, inspiring the young and energizing the rest. What is the relevance of being an immigrant from South Asia? To me, the most important relevance of being uh, in that position, in terms of how I think about my work and my career and my priorities, is this. It drives a deep feeling of obligation to give back to the country that gave me and my family so very much. And I know this can sometimes sound corny, but it's true. I agree with the adage that to whom much is given, much is expected. And I think that principle in some ways goes double for recent immigrants. You know, our families chose to come here. Not everyone had that choice. They chose to come here on the promise of a better life. And if you happen to be sitting in this very nice hotel ballroom, by definition, that promise was fulfilled for you. And it is just too soon for people like us to take our country for granted. That's all for this week's Thea TV Spotlight. To catch more, log on to youtube.com slash theatvusa. And if you have an event that needs to be covered, send us an email at spotlight at theatvinc.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, right here on Thea TV.